and welcome back to our channel. This is your Psychopedia host Amelia, visiting beautiful Helsinki, in the middle of the night. Hopefully I won't get raped by the Vikings and sacrificed to a Viking god. Ha ha. However, I'll be just fine, with a little psychotherapy. Anyway. In today's edition of the After Show we invite you to watch our top stories from all around the world. First. Right from the source, we find out why metal band Skid Row will never reunite. The charismatic frontman Sebastian Bach, spills the tea in his audiobook, 18 and Life. Later. A top 10 of the most beautiful songs of Trevor something, that made our year more interesting. And right away. We get some wisdom from an unlikely source. Kareen, one of Mark's guests at Soft White Underbelly, shares her interesting views on life and human behavior. Stay tuned for our top stories and many other surprises. Lonely. But I forget the word. Easily and often, I forget the word. And I replace it with independent or careful. I do things on my own, by my own. <laughs> but on terms, it's just lonely. Such a lonely day, and it's mine. Every time I look good, I'm like, oh, all right, I'm accomplishing not only one thing, but the goal of the clothes. I'm sitting here as myself, saying it's a preference, nor is it a job, nor is it a title of your own humanity, but it is just a preference of living, sexual versus non-sexual, giving or, you know, bling, I guess the word is, yeah, in love. And I just don't have any love. All I have is sex and I don't know what to do with it. The humankind gathered that one topic ended up being one of the best topics. One that everyone could understand. One that everyone was like, pleasure, okay, let's see what we're doing here. You know, they really did good on that. You know, you either regret being in love or you love being in love because either way, you're stuck with something that you didn't have before. You're changed. Lonely. But I forget the word. Easily and often, I forget the word. And I replace it with independent or careful. I do things on my own, by my own. But on terms, it's just lonely.
People ask me all the time, why don't we have a reunion? The real reason we are not together, in my mind, is publishing royalties. I did not understand the monetary implications of getting my name on a song as much as the other older guys in the band. This is why it is always such a fight in the industry to get credit. At the time of recording my first Skid Row album, I was 19 or 20 years old. Never in a million years could anyone foresee 10 million people buying the first Skid Row album. But they did. Russia like well Hold on, dude, I'm there's a lot around. of rock stars here no like weird looking people there's my name Sebastian. Sebastian. Fuck. <laughs> and I'm one of Yngwie Malmsteen's biggest influences <laughs> do, you, do you know ever heard of Skid Row? We are the youth the you stop working more you want to do what with me? Yeah. My name is not on some of the songs where I, in fact, contributed greatly to the vocal melody of the song. The other guys might disagree that I deserved an official writing credit because they wrote the original versions before I joined the band. Financially, they do not need to get the original Skid Row back together. The Who could have been immortal, you know, and uh, they still are in a sense, but they could have been immortal and if they just stopped. You know, I love The Who. They're, they're like a, one of my favorite bands. But to come back just to get together, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. And The Stones, I don't, I don't know. I never really even heard an official breakup with those guys, so, like, it almost makes sense for them. But as far as The Who goes, like, why do it? I even read an article online where the bass player was quoted as saying, as long as I have a slice of bread on my table, no, there will never be no Skid Row reunion. How ironic. The very success a band sets out to achieve prevents the band from ever achieving success in the future. How sad. Trevor something. I'm a real doctor. You can trust me. Trevor something is not a real doctor. If symptoms occur or you're having real traumatic issues.